Hey guys, welcome back to Siba Tutorial Channel and this is our problem number 4 for moment area theorems. Determine the slope and deflection at the end of the beam. Take E is equivalent to 10 times 10 raised to 6 PSI and I is equivalent to 45 inch raised to 4. Yeah. So we have 1000 pounds data, so A and a triangular loading dito sa ating member AB. Tapos yung ating B is obviously a fixed support. Uh, so this is a cantilevered ano, ah, beam. So pakita natin yung mga reaction. So this is BV. Then yung ating BH is equivalent to 0 naman. Pero sige, drawing lang din natin. Then ito yung ating moment at B. So, pag nag-moment tayo sa point A, ilan yung loading sa mag- or iikot? Papunta kay A, 1, tapos yung MB, saka yung BB, tatlo, marami. So, mas maganda mag-moment lang tayo sa B, parang iikot lang sa kanya is yung 1,000 pounds, saka yung ating triangular load. So, that is 2. Uh, okay, 2 moments or 2 drawings for moment over EI diagram. So, sa madalang salita, hindi natin kailangan pang isolve yung mga reactions sa B. Kasi doon lang naman tayo mag-moment. So, ang ikot ng 1,000 pounds is pag ganito. So, ibig sabihin sa taas. Yan. So, ano to? Ilan to? So, this is 1,000 times 12. So, this is 12,000 pounds feet over EI. And then, ito naman, this is what? 0.5 times, okay, yung 1 half yun, yung 0.5 times 360 multiplied by 12. Tapos yung kanyang moment arm is 1 third of 12 meters. So, this is 8,640. And this is first degree. Pagpunta sa shear is second degree. Pagpunta sa moment, third degree. Oops. Medyo malit lang. Kasi 8640 eh. Ayan. So, this is negative naman. Kasi sa downward or sa negative side ng beam siya iikot sa baba. So, this is negative 8640 pounds foot over EI. So, ngayon ang tanong, paano magbe-behave yung ating cantilevered beam? Paganto ba? Or paganto? Kasi hindi sa lahat ng oras, ang cantilever beam is negative bending. Bakit? Kasi ito, meron tayong loading sa 1,000 pounds eh, na mag-cause ng positive deflection sa ating, ano, sa ating beam. Hindi pa? So ngayon, tingnan natin yung M over EI diagram natin. Sino ba yung ano, mas malaki? Diba? So mas malaki yung uh, 12,000 kaysa 8,640. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung effect ng ating 1,000 pounds dun sa ating beam para siya ay mag-deflect or para siya ay mag-bend. Okay? So, dito obvious na ang ating magiging uh, bending sa ating uh, member AB is positive bending. Ayan. Ganyan yung magiging uh, result niya. Then, ang pinapakuha sa atin is yung slope and deflection at the end of the beam. So, this is our tangent A. Yan. Then, ito yung ating horizontal axis, no? X-axis. But, okay, based on our problem number 1, alam rin natin na ang ating tangent at A is horizontal din. Sorry, tangent at P pala. Tangent at P. Yan. So, ngayon, ito yung slope natin. Diba? So, this is our tan uh, theta A. Tapos, ito naman yung ating deflection. So, this is Y A. Yan. So, dito obviously naman na ang ating theta A. So, number 1 tayo. Is equivalent to our theta with respect to tangent B. Or, or sorry, uh, theta of tangent at B with respect to tangent at A. Yan. 
So, madali lang ito, no? Parang problem number one lang din siya. Pero, ang pinakaiba nga lang nila is meron tayong application ng, ano, ng triangular load. Kasi mamaya makurious kayo, paano po sir pag triangular load ang, ano, ang ating beam? Di ba? So, ganyan na mangyayari. So, this is M over AI multiplied by DX from point B to point A. So, we have two area. One and two. So, pag iwai na lang natin. So, this is area one na uh, one half. So, 0.5 of 12,000 multiplied by 12 feet. Yan. Since deflection is pinapasolved din, sige, kunin na natin x bar na. Yan, x bar 1. So, this is from point A na, mamaya. Yan. Ito yung maging x bar 1 natin. Then, ito naman yung ating x bar 2. Yan. So, this is what? 2 thirds. 2 thirds of 12 feet. So, this is 72,000, no? 72,000. And this is pounds, feet, squared. Kasi ito ay pounds, feet. Ito naman is feet. So, feet squared. Then, over EI. Then, ito naman is 2 thirds of 12. So, 8 feet. Next, area 2. Okay, so this is what? Uh, second degree. Note natin. Ah, sorry. This is third degree pala. First, then second sa shear, then third degree. So, this is 1 over n plus 1. So, 3 plus 1. So, 1 fourth multiplied by 8640 multiplied by 12 feet. So, this is negative, ah. So, 1 fourth is 0.25. Then, 8640 multiplied by 12. So, 25,920. Then, this is pounds, feet, squared, over, EI. Then, ang x bar 2 natin is what? This is what? Um, 1 over n plus 2, no? So, 1 over 3 plus 2 is 1 feet. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating x bar 2 is 12 minus 1 feet of 12. So, 9.6 uh, feet. Ayan. So, ang ating uh, theta A is pinagsamang area lamang. So, this is 72,000 then minus uh, 25,920 multiplied by 1 over EI. Twenty-five nine twenty. So four six four six zero eighty. It's positive four six zero eighty, and this is pounds feet cube. Ah, wait lang. Pounds feet square pala. Then over ei. So okay, conversion naman tayo. Ang ating theta a is equivalent to four six zero eighty. And this is, ano na, pounds per, ano na, square inch. So, kaya natin makonvert yung feet squared into inch. So, multiplied by what? Kasi, ang, um, ano, 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So, kung foot dito, so, nasa taas, no? So, ibig sabihin, times 12, no? Times 12, then feet squared, so times, uh, raise to 2. Okay? So, this is pounds inch okay pounds inch squared over uh okay so this is psi so times 10 raised uh, okay 10 times 10 raised to 6 then this is pounds per inch squared then multiplied by 45 inch raised to 4 cancel to cancel to cancel ang pounds then cancel din to ang matitira sa atin is radians so, 46080 
times 12 raised to 2. Then over 10 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 45. So 0 0.015 positive regions. And this is also equivalent to 0.845 degrees. Then next, number 2 naman is deflection. And deflection natin na YA is equivalent to our vertical division of point A. Okay, in the elastic curve with respect to tangent at B. So this is M over EI multiplied by DX then multiplied by X bar with respect to point A from point B to point A. So, lahat sa hop, area 1 and area 2, then x bar 1 and x bar 2. So, mayroon na tayo, diba? Ito na. Yung mga x bar natin, 8 feet and 9.6 feet. Okay. So, 7, uh, 72,000 multiplied by 8 feet, then minus 25,920 multiplied by 9.6 and of course, don't forget na sila ay nakamultiply ng 1 over EI. So, deflection at A. Okay, 72,000 multiplied by 8, then minus 25,920 multiplied by 9.6. So, 327168. So, 327168. And this is pounds, feet cube over EI. Okay? So, this is what? The 3, 2, 1, ah, sorry, 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8 ba? 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Okay. Then, feet cube siya. So, imumultiply natin ng 12, then raise 3 para maging pounds inch cube over EI times uh, 10 raise uh, 10 times 10. Raise to 6, multiplied by, uh, or sorry, pounds per inch squared, then multiplied by 45. Okay, inch raised to 4. Cancel to, cancel. Cancel din yung dalawa, so matitra is inch, then cancel din yung pounds. So ito yung ating deflection at point A. 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Then multiplied by, or sorry, ito na lang pala, no? Ayan. So this is 3, 2, 7, 1, 6, 8. Then 12 raised to 3. So this is 1.256 inch. Ayan. So pwede nyo rin na may convert yan ano eh, ng ano, uh, feet. Ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin ng 12. So, 0 0.105 feet or foot. Ayan. Okay? So, ano? Uh, simple simple lang din naman ano, ang problem number 4. Kasi nga, mamaya, uh, isipin ninyo na medyo mahirap kapag ano, na, triangular load. Kasi medyo natakot ng iba rito. Eh, diba? Kasi ano, sa double integration method, medyo komplikado yung ating maging equation kapag triangular load yung given. Pero dito naman sa moment error theorem, eh, simple lang naman. As long as naalala ninyo yung ano, yung equation natin ng ano, area, diba, dun sa ating, ano, sa, or sorry, uh, this is n plus 1, multiplied by base times side, dun sa ating introduction na ating moment error theorem, and this is 1 over n plus 2, then multiplied by, Base. As long as alam nyo naman to, walang magiging problema sa inyo. And alam niyo kung saan point kayo, mas maganda na mag-moment. Kung saan magiging maunti yung area na magiging involved sa ating M over EI diagram. Okay, so ganun lang naman siya kasimple. So this is our problem number 4 for moment area theorems under strength of materials chapter 6. So if you learned and... Uh, like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching.
बाय बाय